I'm Jim Downing and I'm CTO at Metel. My name is Vikesh Shah and I'm the commercial director at Metel. And Metel is a startup company which digitizes human bodies, and on the other hand, clothes, and bring these together for a variety of different use cases. So we, we already have a service which can help consumers pick the right size and get an understanding of how different sizes of a particular garment are going to fit them. Uh, we can take that further and give that as a service to retailers so that we can help them market better, target better, and because they're able to bring the right clothes to the right customer at the right time. So there are two main halves to the infrastructure. Um, there's a back end that produces the digital models of the garments. Then there's the production half, which does body model prediction, uh, the garment modeling, real-time rendering, and also the data and analytics part as well. When our CEO started off the business, he had one single goal, to find out if there was a way of digitizing clothes for less than $10 a garment. With the help of machine learning, we're automating more of these steps to get towards $3 per garment. The body model is built entirely on a statistical prediction. Uh, from measurements into 3D scanned shapes. We look at quite a lot at runtime performance to make sure that the renders we're giving are, are coming through quickly. Uh, using, using Amazon has been a real boon for that because we're able to get our services closer to the consumers more easily. The migration into the cloud and our increasing use of higher level services really means that we can keep the same number of staff working on our platform but the capabilities are growing all the time and they're getting a lot more useful for our software development so that we can be more agile and that we can serve our customers with less complexity. I think we've achieved a really good approach to simulating garments on different body shapes. Uh, we personalize all of the, uh, the renders so it, essentially we do the simulations in real time. For us, it always boils down to, are we helping the end consumer? Which niche are we targeting? How are we helping them? And working with retailers to support those end customers.